In this video, I'll show you how to set up and also how to use your brother MFC L2820DW from the very beginning. I have unboxed the printer and this is it. I'll show you step by step how to get going and also show you all the different features this printer is capable of. So let's get started right away with how to insert the paper. So the first step is to put your fingers over here and pull on this drawer. Now this drawer can be removed completely out of the printer but to insert paper you don't have to do it. You can simply open it half ways. You're gonna notice there is a plastic guide over here, green color, that can be adjusted left and right depending the size of the paper you're gonna input in this printer. And over here you have another one. By default it's placed under the LTR line, which means letter size, US letter size. But if you want, for example, to use legal size, you'll have to extend this drawer. To extend it, press on this button right over here and then pull on it. The drawer will be able to extend. This way you'll be able to put legal size paper. But for this video, I'll simply put letter size so I can put it back the way it was, okay, under LTR. You can move it up and down. Take your stack of paper and put it this way. Every time you put paper, make sure you never go above this red line right over here. You see, it has three arrows. Never go above. If not, the paper will jam inside of the printer. At the end, you just have to put everything back and this is about it. So the toner comes in this package. Let's open it. We will have to remove this orange plastic. There are two of them. So the first one, okay, remove it. You can put this in the recycling bin. And there is another one right over here. It says remove. So simply pull on it. And again, put this in the recycle bin. This is your ink toner, TN830. Your brother printer can be turned on or off. It does not matter. You're going to find on each side one of these small um, place where you can stick your fingers and simply need to bring down this top panel. Okay, just like that. Then you're going to find over here, this is the drum where you see a green label. Simply stick your finger there. It's a handle and pull it out. So we'll have to insert the ink toner in the drum. How do you do this? Take your ink toner by the handle. You see, this is a handle. And simply, you see, this is the drum. Put the green label facing you. Simply have to glide it down. And once it's in place, push on the handle until it clicks in place. You should really hear a click. By the way, in the future, when time comes to replace it and you take away the drum with the toner, to remove the toner from the drum, you have this small lever that you need to push. It will unlatch it and then you'll be able to take away the toner, put a brand new one and this is it. Now let's insert it in the printer. So I just have to glide it. And at the end, give it a small push with your thumb. Here you go. It needs to click and close this front panel back. Next step is to turn on the printer. So I'll go ahead and press the power button once. First step is to connect your printer to your Wi-Fi network, the same Wi-Fi network that your iPhone is currently connected to. On the display, we're gonna tap on this Wi-Fi icon on the bottom of the screen. Then you're gonna select Find Wi-Fi Network. You're gonna wait a few seconds. It will scan for all the Wi-Fi networks around the printer. It will give you a list 
You can use the arrows to go up and down and once you find your Wi-Fi network, you simply need to click on it and then press OK. Type the password. If your password has numbers or symbols, you have a small um, button over here that you can switch between the different keyboards. Once your password has been typed, press OK and you'll get the connected confirmation that everything is fine. Press OK and this is it. All right, once this is done, take your iPhone and we need to download on the App Store the Broader Mobile Connect app. Once you download it, open. This is how the app looks, the main screen. You're gonna have all your printers that are connected on the top. If it's the first time you're using this app, obviously you won't have any of these and you'll have to click on the top right corner to add a printer. Then press add machine. Then click on register your machine. Click on your printer. Press skip. Activate later. Press maybe later. Press skip. You're going to have the green check mark telling you that the printer has been added to the app. Press, press exit setup. If there is a new firmware available for your printer, it will be shown on the main screen, like over here. You can press OK and it will download and install it for you. I'll press cancel since this is not the, um, the goal of this video. So over here, you're going to have your printer on the top. Now, if you want to print, you have two options, document print or photo print, depending what you intend to print. Let's say I want to so select the file. It will be presented to you as a preview, but if you click the small cogwheel over here, you'll be able to change a few settings. So you have to input your paper size, how many copies you want. Do you want it to fill the, fit on the page? This is a bit weird. Seriously, just leave it off the way it is. You have layout in case, let's say you have multiple pages, you're trying to fit on one single page. Over here we have, if you want to print on both sides of the, uh, the page, if you select two sided. And then you have quality, by default it's normal. If you want a better quality, select fine. Normal is, I think, the one that you should select for text with some small graphics. But if you're printing anything else, like a picture or something with a lot of details select fine it will give you obviously better uh, results and then select pages in case your document has 50 pages but you just want to print page 1 to 10 you can select them over there you can go back and at the end well make sure that your printer has some paper and press print you can extend this small flap here we go it comes quite quickly and it looks great. Now let me show you how to scan and get the results on your iPhone. So this printer has two different scanners. Let me show you how to input paper in both of them and then I'll go on the iPhone and show you how to get the results. So you have a basic scanner. Simply lift this top lid, take the paper you wish to scan and we're gonna place it facing down. Now we have to connect this uh, corner of the page with this corner, the top uh, left one of the scanner. So bring both until both are touching. Then close and go on the app. Before going there, let me show you how to input paper on the top. So this is an automatic document feeder. That's how it's called. And it's great if you want to scan multiple pages at the same time, the printer will do all the job. So let's say I have these two pages I wish to scan. You can even put 30 pages or more over here. That's not an issue. Okay, align them, place them with uh, whatever you want to scan facing up like that. And with the top part of the document towards the left, glide until you hear a beep. On the app, you're gonna select scan from the main menu. The printer will detect automatically where the document is located, if it's on the top or on the bottom. 
You can select if you want the scan to be in color or black and white, the document size, and the resolution. The resolution by default is 300 dpi, but you can go and choose another number if you prefer. The highest the number, the more details you, your scan will have and the larger the file will be. At the end, press scan and just wait. As you see here, the printer is taking page by page. You don't have to touch anything. And the pages are appearing one by one on your smartphone. Here we go. It's quite quick. Now, if one of these pages uh, is not what you expected and you want to delete it, there's an X on the top right corner that you can click to delete it. Press done. You'll be able to go through them, select one, zoom in, make sure that all the details you want are there. And at the end, on the bottom, you have share, save. Click on it and you'll be able to share it with your favorite contacts, share it on different apps, messenger, notes, emails. Or if you go down, you'll, you'll be able to print whatever you have just scanned or to save it on your iPhone memory for fu future usage. So if you click save to file, you'll be able to save it in a specific folder in your iPhone memory. So this is about it. I hope this was useful. This printer is very easy to use and yeah, with the app, everything can be done in just a few seconds. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, and also check my Amazon affiliate links down below if you want to get some ink, some paper, or even a brand new printer. Every time you go through my links, I get a very small commission from Amazon and it helps my channel. See you in the next video.